Welcome back. Australia has become a world tourist mecca over the last few years and we go to a lot of trouble to promote Australia overseas and to make it possible for people to get here and get back. But it's also true that the vast majority of tourists who come here cluster up and down the coastal strip where they're in an environment which could be matched by almost anywhere else in the world. Now we are unique and these are beautiful places to come to and obviously very popular. But the true Australia lies in the outback. Now Jeff McTaggart who has flown the helicopter for us to shoot all of our aerial sequences over many years, has a family property which is about 600 kilometres west of Brisbane on the western plains of Queensland. It's run by his brother John in combination with Jeff. It's around about 125,000 acres, so it's quite a huge property, and it runs 12,000 head of sheep and around 10,000 head of cattle. Now, Jeff and John got their heads together, and with Jeff's involvement in, in aviation, it be became clear that with the right sort of aircraft, and the one they chose was the Piper Navajo that you see here, it would be possible to move people from the Gold Coast to Beechwood in just over an hour's flying time, and of course bring them back again. Now, if you take two hours out of a day, it's conceivable that people could get plenty of enjoyment from even a single day trip, but of course they're looking at flying them out on Friday afternoon and perhaps bringing them back on Monday morning. Now, Beechwood has all of the atmosphere and all of the attributes that we've come to expect of a property which absolutely screams Australiana. And you're looking here at a, a little microcosm of an environment which has remained virtually unchanged for 150 years or so. It's the shearing shed at Beechwood. It has all of the smells and the atmosphere and the feel of a true working shearing shed. Beechwood also offers some other attractions. There are helicopter joy flights. There is clay skeet shooting uh, on the property there, which is held uh, uh, once or twice a week, properly equipped and with all of the right uh, the right shotguns, etc. So that's a lot of fun. In fact, I found that quite interesting. I wouldn't mind spending a bit more time uh, clay shooting. There's also a government school on Beechwood. And nowadays, uh, the days of vast distances in the outback have pretty well been overcome by roads and by more efficient transportation. And the day of the old school of the air are just about finished. The kids are able to come in from quite long distances and commute to school. Now the heart of Beechwood is a true Australian homestead. There is a bunkhouse on each end and of course the homestead with the dining room in the middle. Uh, there's a large kitchen and all of the family uh, helps there in cooking the meals and of course in this case it was quite delicious roast lamb. You see John uh, McTaggart serving out some of the vegetables there and everybody no matter how far they may have travelled, no matter what part of the world they may have come from, is made to feel a part of the family and even the language barriers are very easily overcome. Now the offering doesn't just include a trip to Beechwood and back with the Navajo with a quite a high cruise speed of around about 135 knots and its seven seat capacity it's possible not only to access Beechwood but also access some of the other tourist locations in southeast Queensland and they're very flexible as far as their packages are concerned. Uh, it's possible to fly to Beechwood to spend a day or two at Beechwood and then to move from there into other coastal areas such as Lady Elliot Island, Bundaberg, Gladstone, places like that and come back to the Gold Coast after having spent a maximum of three or perhaps four days away. But I stress that those arrangements can be made on what amounts to an individual basis or at least a plane full of people, say six or seven people, and the tour can encompass virtually any area of southeast Queensland out as far as, say, Longreach. And it certainly is an experience. In fact, to be quite honest, I think that I would be quite content to spend a couple of weeks at Beechwood because it does get you back to the land, to the, to the true feel of Australia. You eat absolutely superb food. You're able to participate rather than just observe. As you, can just, as you just saw, you can ride around on horses. You can take part in the sheep mustering. Uh, you could even learn to shear sheep while you were there over that period of time and it takes you away from the, the rush and bustle of uh, coastal tourism even though that also is beautiful and brings you back to the true roots of Australia. Now 
I'm going to stop talking, which I don't often do on, on this show, and I get complaints about that. Graham Strawn has written some absolutely beautiful music, and I'm going to let you look at some pictures of Beechwood and of the true Australiana and listen to some of Graham's music.